Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Last week I reviewed Wonky, which essentially is a dexterity game with some strategy card play. It's not deep strategy, but light, enough to make me replace Jenga with it because instead of the thing knocking down once per game, it knocks down multiple times and you actually have some control as to what's happening. Fun little dexterity game there. Castles of Mad King Ludwig is one that I enjoyed, uh, although at the end I think Still like Suburbia better uh, due to sort of the more AP prone, uh, you know, style of castles with that mad with the, with the master builder. Excellent game. I can see why people like it, but for me, I still prefer Suburbia. Then I did the Secrets, which was the expansion for Mad King Ludwig, and I love this. It added a lot of new things to the game without adding a lot of complexity, makes the game more enjoyable. Next is TikTok. It's a party game where you're rolling dice. These dice have letters on them, and your team is rushing to fill out this card of these different letters, and then you're swapping and the other team has to guess your words and only using the time that you basically used to write down the words. Very fun. It's a traditional type party game, but a lot of fun. Check that one out. TikTok. I kept that one. Timeline Challenge. Ooh, this took the base normal game of uh, timeline and put it into a full fledged trivia game and it is excellent. You can add your all your timeline sets to it. It even comes with its own cards. Great game, check that one out. And then finally, I did uh, Pandemic Legacy. Of course, I really did enjoy this one. Uh, you know, the Legacy thing isn't necessarily for me as I'm always playing new games. I'm never gonna always play all 24 or 18 games of that. I might get through this one, uh, but for me, definitely excellent. I think everyone should at least play it once and check out if you haven't played Legacy before. I also did a playthrough of Deception Murder in Hong Kong, which is like Mysterium meets Resistance Avalon. We got three camera angles, we got it streamlined. You can watch the whole game in about 18 minutes. Uh, interesting, if you're in, at all interested in this game, check out how it feels in that playthrough. And I also started another contest where it's a choose your own game giveaway. Uh, you can go to GameBoyGeek.com and click on contest, and you can enter up to five times to try to win the game of your choices that's in there. There's tons of games to choose from for my own collection. And that's all I did last week.